about this in just a sec, but first, I just wanna say that uh, I am incredibly excited because I get to work on a commercial project for a brand that, honestly, I don't think I ever expected to work with in my entire career. But I'm gonna be shooting a unique piece for Prada for the release of one of their new fragrances. Now, admittedly, when this first came across my plate, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty hesitant to take this on. I mean, for one, it's pretty left field, like definitely not something I've ever worked on before, but two, I mean, it's it's Prada, like, I don't know, kind of, kind of intimidating. But here we are, we are starting production this week. We were in pre-production for about a week prior to this, but we're getting packed up, getting all the gear ready to head out first thing tomorrow morning. We've got a pretty big upcoming few days of production. We're gonna be out on location for a total of like four days, basically heading all the way down the Oregon coast, all the way into Northern California. Then we're gonna be heading back here to Portland to shoot a few of the interior scenes kind of here in the apartment. It's gonna be a lot of run and gun style filmmaking. I mean, we're gonna be on the road, not to mention we have a pretty short turnaround for this whole thing, unfortunately. So I'm definitely gonna be needing to dump footage and probably even edit and kind of pull selects in the field which honestly works out really well because uh, Gigabyte, well, Oris, actually hit me up and asked if I was interested in trying out their new Aero 15 laptop and put it through its paces in my workflow as a creative professional. Like genuinely, I'm not sure that there could be a more perfect project to take something like this out and really put it up to the test. So the plan and kind of the creative concept for this film that I proposed to Prada for this project is a two to three minute story kind of driven by the visual and sound of two interwoven aspects of my life. And what I mean by that is basically the day to day kind of like physical mundane work and lifestyle and then kind of contrast those scenes with the inner workings and kind of the inspirations like the daydreams of my mind. So basically for this story we're going to be capturing myself kind of doing the work and then interrupting that with kind of why and like what inspires me to be doing that work and how Prada kind of fits into this whole thing. The fragrance is called Luna Rosa Ocean and so I have this idea of kind of in the day-to-day -day lifestyle you know I am spraying on cologne as I'm getting ready for the day. And this scent is kind of this unique bridge into these abstract kind of creative inspired places in my mind. You know, these beautiful landscapes, these textures, greenery, and of course, you know, ocean. So that's why we're gonna be shooting a ton of this project out on the coast. But I've got a pretty dialed in pre-production plan. I've been working on this for the last week or so. It's on Milanote, which by the way, uh, shout out to Danny Gewurz uh, for talking about Milanote for pre-production game changer. I've got a really solid kind of mood board inspiration going and used that to formulate a pretty thorough shot list. So yeah, I mean, we've got a, a pretty solid plan. I mean, hopefully everything goes to plan. It's, it's kind of the weird nature of these run and gun type projects is it's kind of unpredictable sometimes, but yeah. It's day one. The plan is to capture the majority of the scenes with me actually in the frame. So I brought along my good friend, Tyler Hansen. He's another local Portland cinematographer. He's actually the same guy who assisted me in shooting some of the scenes for my project with NVIDIA back in 2020. The intention for a lot of these scenes was to capture some pretty dramatic, interesting weather, you know, rain, fog, moody, uh, but I think as you guys will see, I didn't quite expect it to be that moody. It ended up pouring pretty much the entire day. I barely decided the day before to go pick up some umbrellas before the shoot, and if we didn't have these things, I think we would have had to cut this whole production day completely short. I wanted a moody organ, you know, P&W type thing. He got it. I'm just, I'm just wet. 
I'm, I'm literally very wet. Check out the contraption here. Good old Cuts hoodie. It's uh, actually an umbrella holder, so. What? How the hell did you do that? I, I tied it with my hoodie strings. This is where I need ND. So you're filming me filming him, filming A-Roll. How stupid do I look right now? <laughs> if the music is cool enough. You guys look like giant mushrooms. idea to buy like a big cinema camera of like super high quality and crazy dynamic range and stuff but when you're doing stuff like this the shit kind of stops. So I feel like a lot of people think that matte boxes are kind of just for show and yeah, admittedly, I've definitely put a map box on in times where it uh, kind of just looks cool, but they actually do serve a pretty big purpose. On a day like today, where super broad daylight, we have incredibly strong sunlight, you know, if, especially if you're shooting into the sun, you're gonna get lens flares, and a lot of people are like, oh, lens flares are good, but some flares, if the sun's coming in a weird angle, will just like kill contrast across your entire image, kind of wash everything out. So a matte box will help to block that, especially this top flag. On a day like today, it does serve a pretty important purpose. Testing audio. If you guys haven't tried these things before, these Olipops, they have a bunch of different flavors, but damn, they taste so good and there's like hardly any sugar in them. Not sponsored. Uh, the sponsor of this video though, kind of making a lot of this project possible is Oris. And I really gotta say, I'm genuinely impressed with the performance of this Aero 15 out in the field, on location. Honestly, the way that I kind of treat and view laptops in my kind of workflow as a creative professional, kind of a run and gun cinematographer, I do YouTube, I do freelance, kind of high end commercial projects, a variety of different things. I really only use them if it's like an absolute necessity. Like if I have to be out mobile, like yeah, obviously can't bring my desktop, but there's always this weird instinctual feeling that like it's gonna slow me down. I'm sacrificing on power and performance, but this thing in pretty much every aspect really outperformed my expectations. But honestly, that's not much of a surprise. I mean, there's a lot packed into this thing. It's got the new Intel 11th gen i7, which is I think a six core CPU. It's a really well optimized mobile processor that brings a lot of power, but it's still efficient with battery life. I will say though that the claims that a lot of the brands kind of make up front about these devices with the like, you know, eight, 10 hours, even more sometimes. Let's just 
put this out there and be honest, when you have a device like this that has a dedicated graphics card that has a 4K display, especially when you're working in high-end applications, you know, something like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere, you're not gonna get that. But I was able to comfortably get three to even four hours of kind of editing and dumping footage on this thing, which really, truly does surpass my standards. But when it comes to just general day-to-day -day use, you know, web browsing, emails, stuff like that, you can definitely expect to get closer to that mark. It's got the NVIDIA RTX 3060, which is a really, really nice blend of power, but also efficiency. It's 16 gigs of RAM on this model, but that is user upgradable. And there's also another NVMe slot, so you can have two NVMe drives in there. I did some benchmarks in DaVinci Resolve and compared the speed of this machine versus my pretty high-end desktop. And honestly, it's surprising how close these things come. I mean, it's like within 10 to 20%, which at the end of the day is fairly minimal. <laughs> and this display, oh my God. The OLED 4K display, 99% Adobe RGB, 100% sRGB. I mean, this thing is literally beautiful to look at. The blacks are so, so rich. It's so dynamic. Some of the B-roll shots of the screen that you guys are probably seeing right now, like I, it doesn't it doesn't look like it should be a laptop screen. It's kind of wild. The port selection on this thing is honestly just impressive. One feature, like I cannot tell you guys enough how much I missed an SD card slot and a UHS 2 SD card slot. Ugh, it is so, so nice to not have to bring a dongle or an adapter to just dump a card. Gigabyte has done a really impressive job at creating a machine that can really cover all the bases. Whether you're a creative professional like me, you're a gamer, a student, or just somebody who needs a laptop that can get the day-to-day -day stuff done, this is a pretty seriously powerful yet affordable option that will definitely not disappoint. So if you guys are interested, be sure to check out the links down below. Again, thank you to Oris for sponsoring this video, kind of helping support this whole project. Okay, yeah guys, so honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. I am tired. That was a long four days of production out on the road. I think everything went pretty well. There was no major hiccups. Shooting with Tyler went really well. It's always amazing to have somebody to work and kind of help you on these projects that can easily just sort of understand your vision and be able to help you produce those shots that you're after. So thank you so much, Tyler, for helping me. I'll maybe have a link to his Instagram or his website down below so you guys can go check him out. But now we've got a pretty intense few days of post-production to try and wrap everything up here. Hopefully you guys will be seeing the actual final film uh, for Prada in the next couple of days after you see this video. So stay on the lookout for that. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is a really cool project that I get to share with you guys. And I couldn't be more excited about the whole thing. So it would mean the world if you could maybe go down and give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.